This moment's really significant because I never get to play this guitar. Guitars to me are, are, they carry different anointings. And so I always ask God before I go somewhere, Lord, you know, which, which sword do you want me to bring? So this was a guitar that um, I got from a, a hero in the faith named Ray Hughes. He wrecked me when I was in high school because I would listen to his tapes on the Tabernacle of David. I was listening to this thinking, God, if I could one day be a psalmist like that, if I could sing over cities. And so anyway, Ray, as I began to have a relationship with him, he's just made a, a big mark on my life. And he, this is one of his guitars. Ray is in Nashville, I think it's in the late 90s or early 2000s. And he, he sees this guitar and he recognizes the G on the headstock. And he goes, that's a Gallagher guitar. I can't believe they have it in here. And he picked it up and it was destroyed. So he drove up to the woodworking shop Gallagher in the Smoky Mountains and he brings this guitar and he goes to the door and he knocks on it and the father Had since passed away and the son had taken on his dad's business of making guitars So he knocks the door and he holds up this guitar and it's a destroyed like Relic of what his dad made it to be and he holds it up and he immediately starts bawling the son and he goes That's one of my dad's guitar 1967. He said I would spend time with my dad in his shop sanding the tops of these guitars And he said, you know what? I gotta restore this. I don't know how But I have to find and he was moving machines around and he found the enough binding um, Below one of the machines from one of his dad's old binding It's like this specific wood that fits this guitar and he found just enough to fix this part And then he went back here and he fixed this and it took him a year and he finished the first ever father built, son restored Gallagher guitar. Only one in the world. And it, it's not that pretty because it's just destroyed, but it sounds glorious. And I, I, I felt like the Lord told me to bring it to Montana and keep it here. And whenever I worship in this region, sing the song of fathers returning to sons and sons returning to fathers.